What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing What's on My iPhone 11 Pro 2020. Sunny Daniel Now, I got a little thing to tell y'all about my 11 Pro at the end of the video, so make sure y'all watch that, because it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Y'all know my phone is jailbroken, man, so you see it looks super official. I love the way my phone looks. I can't even lie to you, man. I actually, well, I'll tell you that at the end of the video. So this is my 11 Pro. This is my home screen. You see it's super official. This is my next screen, which got all my apps and folders and stuff. And then the next screen, I haven't really sorted these out yet, but, you know, it's a plan that I need to do because they need a place. They need a home, too. And some of them I haven't even played and saw what they like yet. But that's all beside the point. So on my home screen, my main screen is just, it's just gorgeous, man. You could pretty much put any kind of wallpaper on here and it's going to look good. But this one just looks good because it's got the nice contrast. You know what it is. So the first app we got on here is YouTube. Gotta have YouTube on the home page because I'm always on YouTube like 90% of the time. And then we got Snapchat number two. All right, so Snapchat, real simple stuff, man. We got IG. Gotta have the Instagram looking good. Just for a, a lot of my wallpapers actually come from IG. Um, like the one that's on my wallpaper right now came from IG. Like So I follow a lot of like fashion pages and stuff like that then we got safari over here i'm glad it was on this because i believe it was on something else a little bit earlier but it's all good we ain't gonna hit that tab button but you know what safari is and then we got amazon amazon is a must i bought some of the stuff on amazon it's crazy man so you see right here i got two things coming in the mail something running late but it's all good now this little app right here now this is when it comes into play that i need to get my home screen together because see this is the casa app this controls all my smart plugs and stuff like that but then i got all these new rgb strip lights and that's what this is that's what this controls so i got the tv backlight the one that's in my car the tv bar the top strip two bulbs so i gotta get all my apps on my main screen together because my stuff is all over the place right now and i don't like that i like everything to be kind of seamless so i like to put casa back on here because you see right here casa is taking it's so much hooked up to this man like i got the vase the bed lights the warm accent lights the tv backlight studio show color lights like garage there's so many things that i got smart in my house man like my whole house is very <laughs> smart homish and i got my security stuff like that which that's the next app that's what this eyeball is now i'm not gonna show y'all my cameras because then y'all know where i live but i will go in the app and show you something like this you know what i'm saying we had some motion we had certain situations like that but again i can't really show y'all because i'm very conscious of knowing not to show where i live on here then we have my thermostat app and really i can't stress enough man if y'all really bought this smart life like this is probably one of the most convenient smart home devices hookups that i got is the thermostat because you already know when you wake up in the morning it's cold you don't want to get out of the bed because it's cold all you gotta do is go on the app turn your joint up the heat come on everything is good same when you go to bed if it's too hot you just turn it down you don't have to be walking around the house you don't gotta be doing none of that man all from your phone so this is a major major upgrade to your life if you get a smart thermostat then down here we just got the mail app not really sure what all of this is i got so many emails i gotta get together then we got photos probably shouldn't go in there but we will all right well this is safe this is just the beginning of my wallpaper folder before it gets crazy so yeah photos you know photos man a lot of stuff in photos same with messages we ain't really got to go in there but we can i was just texting mary about the cat uh sush so yeah then we got music got some new music i really don't have nothing new man i just downloaded a whole bunch of young boy just because i was on a kick with it you know i just got some random stuff in here nothing crazy uh then we go over to my next page now this is the page where i like to keep everything real organized you really get to see my ocd in full effect so the first folder we got here is actually my games folder now all these folders i don't like to have multiple pages i know i know it's ridiculous but it is what it is so i just like to have one page so i can see everything in the app from the front view so in here we got games we got monopoly the best game ever final fantasy 7 tapped out i haven't played any of these in so long 
but recolor Fortnite, Sam City, The Sims, Ad Cap, and Call of Duty. I don't think I've played any of these this entire year because I played Fortnite on a PC, so it's like. But you know, you gotta have them just in case that time comes when you need them. You go over here to the video folder. We got QVC, DirecTV, HSN, Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Air Video is uh for me streaming stuff from my computer to my phone from my computer. Vimeo and Disney Plus. Then now here we got reference folder, which I don't really know why it's called reference, but I don't think I ever changed it. We got my phone app because nobody ever uses that. We got maps, the Patreon. It's only $2.99 a month. Uh, we got the City Bank, PayPal, Huntington Bank, Weather Notes, and then the YouTube studio for all the creators, you know, help you track your analytics, stuff like that. Then over here, we got the food folder, man. And these are these aren't places I go often, but I, I feel like I need the app for them. Like Panera, I don't go there very often, but I feel like when I do, I need the app. Chipotle, I do go there all the time. Chick-fil-A, I always go there, but I never use the app, which is the dumbest thing in the world because I probably would be getting free food all the time. Got five guys, best place around here to get you a burger. Applebee's, Sides to Go, Shake Shack, Longhorn, and Pizza Hut. I don't know why Pizza Hut is on there. It's, I don't even go to Pizza Hut. Then down here, we got the stores. Now, Flip is like a newspaper type thing, like advertisements in the newspaper. Paper. I think I showed y'all this before. I never use this app, but it's got a whole vibe. You can see like the actual ad that would have been in the paper. And I don't know, it just give me a vibe because I used to look at these advertisements like sitting in the bed with my grandma and my parents and stuff. So it just give me a vibe, but I never use the app. Then we got eBay, DH Gate for any of your knockoff Chinese needs, Target, Wix for the website, Walmart, App Store, Cydia. Cydia is actually the tweak app store for my jailbreak. This is where I get all my tweaks and stuff for my, my uh, jailbreak. So like you see auto unlock X, that makes the phone auto unlock. We got Syracuse for YouTube, Rocket for Instagram. These are all tweaks that are on the app. So like on Instagram, I don't know if y'all saw or not, like say on IG, say I wanna download this right here. You see that little button right there? I just pressed that, downloaded that, added that to the camera roll. So I could easily use stuff as like backgrounds, wallpaper, stuff like that. And another thing you could do with the tweak, you see it says does not follow you. That's part of the tweak. And then if you go to their profile page, and hold on the picture it'll actually show the full size picture of it which is pretty cool too because some people be trying to catfish in the photos and you know what i'm saying you don't have to you could actually get a good look of what they look like instead so that's where i get all the tweaks from is in city if y'all got if y'all about that jailbreak life you already know i should do a jailbreak video show y'all how to do it but i'm gonna tell y'all at the end of the video then we got realtor this is just for looking for houses stuff like that i like to look at places in the area just in case something pop up i might want to grab it or something like that gotta have that y'all want to rock the hottest merch in the game well go over to samedaniel.com slash shop man where you can get all the new merch that i drop i got hoodies t-shirts pillows phone cases coming lanyards all kind of stuff man so go over to samedaniel.com slash shop get the hottest merch man i got it on right now because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my uncensored sim videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you gotta go over to the Patreon account, man. It's only $2.99 a month. That's 10 cents a day. That's damn near free. And I got a Discord now, man. Shout out to my homie Freedom. He set up a Discord for me so we can go over there. We can post memes. We can post girls. We can post all kind of stuff. Let's get back into the video. And then my utilities folder, aka just throw everything in this folder because it doesn't have any place in the phone, but you can't get rid of it because you might need it one day folder we got so much in here man like to be honest there's no kind of organization to this folder whatsoever so you can see we just got just random apps that i don't want to delete because sometimes i might need them like these gopro apps stuff like that like every once in a while i use the app to set up the camera we got escort escort is for my radar detector in my car i use that like maybe once a year magic home that's for my lights that are outside my house the check rain app that's actually the jailbreak my tuner radio you know just random apps that i really don't want to get rid of but i might need and then over here this is why i say i got to redo my home page because tiktok basically i'm on there every day so i need to be able to put tiktok on my home screen so i'm thinking about so y'all y'all see that i'm telling you man this jailbreak life is crazy so let me show y'all how y'all customize the screen so i just slide from over there and then you can see you can set the top offset left offset the vertical spacing, the rows that they're showing. See, I might go ahead and do, instead of doing three rows down, I might go ahead and do four rows like that. And
and then add another row. Not quite sure yet, but maybe at the end of the video I'll do it. And then, you know, the icon, scale, all of that stuff. It's really crazy that you can customize your phone. Like, man, I don't know why Apple has never done that with their phones, but they really need to. This app right here is actually for my scale. It's not hooked up, so it's no point in trying to just sit at that screen. But basically what it does is when you get on the scale, it'll read out your body fat percentage, your weight, all of that, and then it'll store it in the phone, sync it up with your health app, you know real cool real real cool health type stuff something i don't really need on the home page but i still need it i don't know why i haven't thrown this in that folder actually you know i hate that they did this <laughs> where it's like you hold it and then that comes up like just give me the app bro. give me the app and let me drag that joint over here and throw it in that folder and then we got the discord man i now i haven't been on my discord in like psh, i've been on there one time during december and the reason why I'm not getting on there is because I want to wait. Shout out to Cherry Blossom TV. That's Black Cherry from Fortnite. Oh, I didn't realize she was the girl on Patreon. That's what's up. I didn't realize that. I guess her name was Cherry on there, wasn't it? Basically, what I'm saying is my Discord. I don't want to go on Discord until I make a video because I'm going to make a video reaction to what y'all post on Discord. So if y'all haven't started posting on Discord, go on there and post because I'm going to do a dedicated video and I'm going to be going through everything on there. So make sure y'all go on there and check that out so we can make an entertaining video. Y'all post memes, funny stuff like that. This game next to Discord, this right here, I don't know what that is. I haven't played it yet. I don't know what this is. Haven't played it yet. None of these I've played. Ace, the parking game none of these and y'all see it don't have no name on it because it's on my main screen and that's just how i got the jailbreak set up so i really can't get into much about these apps except that i know tiktok and castle need to be on my main screen and possibly the discord too but before i make some adjustments i told y'all i gotta tell y'all a secret about my 11 pro now listen this is gonna blow y'all mind see my 11 pro it's such a good phone man it, it was so expensive and it was just like damn why does it cost so much but that's a lot though. This ain't no 11 Pro. What? You say it ain't 11 Pro? What do you mean it's not 11 Pro? Say this whole video you've been saying it's 11 Pro. Yeah, but it's not. I'm just using that for the algorithm. What this is, is an iPhone X. Now, if y'all don't know what an iPhone X is, it's an iPhone 10. This isn't nothing but an iPhone 10, man. Whole last video, it's just an iPhone 10. Now, I'm gonna remove the case so y'all can see what I'm talking about. First, I want y'all to see it. It look good, don't it? Nice gold, camera looking nice with the black and gold around the camera lens. Very official, but it's not real, man. It's not real. This is the iPhone 11 Pro case, but this, this ain't nothing but a fake iPhone X. <laughs> Nah, but for real, y'all, the only reason I did this, man, is because I like this case so much. Because first of all, I like cases that are gold around the edges. And then this had the leather on the back and it was an 11 Pro case. I'm like, bro, how am I supposed to put an iPhone X in an iPhone 11 case and it look normal? So you could even see right here on the edge where I kind of modded the case a little bit right up in there. So it wouldn't, so it would actually press the button. And then I just bought this off of Amazon, but they don't come like this. So basically what I had to do is buy a black one and a gold one. And I took the face of the black one off. I added the black face to the gold piece. So it looks like it's black and gold. It looks super official with the case. It looks like the dumbest thing in the world without the case though. I'm not going to lie. Because with the case, it just goes so well, man. It's just a, it's just a good look. But the reason why I bought, a, bought an iPhone X, aka iPhone 10, is not just because of the price. Because I don't got this phone. I got this phone for $400 on eBay, man. Great condition, $400. If y'all looking for a phone, go on eBay. But the reason why I did this is strictly because of the jailbreak. The jailbreak only works on the iPhone 10 and below. I have my iPhone 7 Plus and I'm like, man, I'm gonna just keep this phone because it's jailbroken. But then I started feeling like, how long you gonna keep this old iPhone? It looks like, you know, 2015. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this iPhone X, man, because the iPhone X is jailbreakable forever. That's the beauty of anything from the iPhone 10 below. You could always jailbreak it. So if you got an iPhone 10, your phone can look just like this. I might make a video of it, or if, if you wanna just do it right now, go on Google and look it up and try and figure out how you jailbreak your phone if you got an iPhone 10 and below. But my main reason for buying it was for, was for the jailbreak, man. And plus it was only $400. I'm like, 
I got $300 from my iPhone 7 Plus. So I sold my iPhone 7 Plus and bought this for 100 extra dollars and I got the jailbreak and I don't look like I'm living in 2015. So win-win, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just a funny little joke because outside the case, it looks so ridiculous, but in the case, it looks official. Let me see if I can go ahead and customize this a little bit for y'all on camera because why not, right? We all just sitting here chilling. I'm gonna go ahead and make this four rows and I'm gonna see, see, I don't know if I'm gonna like that though. Basically like that. I don't know if I'm gonna like this y'all, but y'all gonna witness it with me. What else could I put on the main screen? I don't know, Sonny, how you supposed to tell me? For the sake of seeing what it looks like, let's just do weather and uh, notes. Let's just do weather and notes. All right, now what I probably would do is make this row because I'm so used to mentally having apps up here. So I probably would do it like this. This is the beauty of having a jailbreak. I know y'all like, that looks so dumb, Sonny. But look, watch this. So you basically hold it, right, and then tap it double tap it then you pick the alternative icon double tap this you can pick the alternative icon double tap this that's the icon but that's the same one i use for my thermostat so i need to pick another icon maybe i'll type in weather yeah i use the sunshine for that one and then notes we could use that casa is using the same app as this so i'm gonna go ahead and change this app i need something with lights on it so like so i don't know how y'all feel about that that's like four that's four rows see i feel like that's too much man I mean, that does make it a little bit easier. I got my Amazon right there. I got my TikTok right here. Some of them don't look that different, but that I would thought that one was the first one. I'm about to say, bruh. <laughs> but that catfish stuff, y'all need to stop, okay? You need to stop. I'm kind of torn about this. I don't know if I'm really feeling the way this looks. I mean, it does give me everything on the main screen, but then I need to add another box here for the folders. I don't know, man. Y'all post in the comments if you think this would be two. Post two in the comments if you think this looks better and post one in the comments if this looks better. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I feel like it's going on for way too long. I just wanted to show y'all my phone and as far as my widgets go, as far as my widgets are, man, like they pretty lame, I ain't gonna lie. I downloaded this app, it's kind of like a gigapet, but it's right on your widget screen. I haven't really got into it as you see. I don't know about that app, man. I might delete that, who knows. But if y'all enjoyed this video and y'all wanna see more videos about my phone and what's on my phone and how I'm doing certain things, things on my phone or whatever whatever let me know in the comments man and let me know if y'all like my little iphone x to iphone 11 pro if y'all like my little scheme i think it's a good scheme man so i love y'all man make sure you post in the comments let me know if there's any other things y'all want me to do on here with the phone because i got the nice little hookup i got my phone connected directly to the computer so yeah no lag no nothing i will be doing a tiktok video coming soon where i react to tiktoks my likes on tiktok that's going to be coming soon. But other than that, I love y'all. Peace.